Okay. Good morning. Well, it feels a hell of a lot quieter on site today, but that's not going to stop progress. So we've got these big steel beams in and they're going to take the weight of the floor. So what's important at this stage is get them all nice and square, make sure they're absolutely millimeter bang on level and that will set the level for the rest of the floor. Obviously, the double whammy is the entrance floor behind you has got to be you know, end up level-ish with this one. Obviously, we can edit, you know, flooring and stuff like that. So, leveling. Right, so that's the beams all level and straight. They're pretty square as well. So I'm going to have to wait till night time to do the final adjustments with the laser because with the spirit level, you can get pretty bang on, but I just want to take the opportunity to get this millimetre perfect. Having a dead straight floor, I know is a benefit in future. So while it's like this, it's going to be easy. So I'm going to have to wait for that get the levels and then I can cement them in. So I'm going to paint them now and I'm just going to get on with other stuff until it gets dark enough. God, it's so annoying having to do gardening before you start internal works. I guess I'm never getting away from this damn the gardener stuff. So, the beams have had their first coat of black paint. Obviously I did the ends before they went in, so probably another coat and they'll be done. Look nice and shiny. So you might have noticed that these new beams are over twice the size of the older beams. Now that's because one of the first things I did, weirdly, is get an engineer's drawing. So he worked out what depth the new beams have to be. And they were actually much bigger than the old ones. And the way they got around the old ones was cladding them in wood either side to take that support. So these new ones mean that I won't have to do that. So the new beams can slot directly into them, which is going to save time and money and a whole load of other things. So 
they should be a significant amount stronger and the floor should be a lot less bouncy as well. Okay, so I'm just going to do this last one. There's a couple more to do, but they need a bit of work. The thing about these beams is they're not actually a structural support. So the way it was done is basically two I-beams are like the bread of the sandwich, if you want to put it that way, infilled with a reinforced concrete. So it's a concrete lintel that's holding the weight and the beams either side are just kind of, well, they're just a rusty old bread. So. They're in pretty good condition, a little bit of flaking at the top, but dead. Strong and solid. So, all I'm doing is grinding the rust off and any flaky bits. I'm putting this first layer of like a rust treatment and prevention and then just normal black paint over the top. And they should be fine. Plus, just looks nice having freshly painted stuff around. Nice. Oh, bugger it, I'm gonna do that last one.
Here's something really cool that I don't think I've showed you yet, and that's when we excavated, we found the stairs leading to upstairs. So it was like a kind of up here, across, back, and then up situation. Now we can clearly see the marks on the walls where the stairs were, and it looks like it entered kind of this doorway. So that solves the mystery of how we got from the basement to the upstairs. God, I love things like that. All right, hopefully the lights die down enough to get this laser up and get the finishing levels on these beams. like all I've got to do is raise that side up by about like this like three or four mil that should be bang on I finally finally found out what this does which I wish I knew that sooner it reflects the laser so you can see it better but anyway okay four mil yes Beauty. Easy as that. So, that's a more level, and they're pretty much down to a couple of mil, which over six meters, like a couple of mil from one side, not gonna even notice it, but it's as good as I can get, and I'm really happy that I've put in that extra effort. Oh. All the steel above all the windows and doors have been treated and painted. The beams have been treated and painted, although they do need one more coat. They're all level from end to end. <sighs> what a room. Honestly, I'm just so chuffed with this room. Especially with all the paintwork, it just... Very roomy-esque, you know. So, what I'm gonna do now is tomorrow now and know these are level. I can get them cemented in and fixed really securely into the wall um, with like a really, really hard mix. Then, could I pop to Brico tomorrow? Hmm. I don't know exactly when, but then I've got to prep all the pockets for the beams, get some templates drawn up of how they fit into the I-beam, and then put the beams in. So, I reckon, couple of days and a lot of these beams will be in. Maybe I'll go get them tomorrow, maybe it'll be the day after. There's a lot to do. Yeah, there's like 30 beams or something to put in, but this is exciting. And I'll see you for beamy stuff tomorrow.